welcome back to my channel. Without delaying, let's move on with the next topic. The next in today's video, we are going to study about female reproductive system. As in the last video, we have studied about male reproductive system, and in today we are going to study about female reproductive system. So, in case of female, even in this female reproductive system, we study in by dividing three parts or four parts, which includes those all. So, those are the first is paired ovary means here the female reproductive system consists of a paired ovaries where two ovaries are present and accessory ducts and external genitalia. Coming to the paired ovaries, there will be a presence of a two ovaries in the lower abdomen which are situated in the pelvic region. So these are there are two ovaries which are present in the pelvic region lower the abdominal part. So, each ovary will be, they will be like a almond shaped or ovary shaped in shape. So, here the ovary is itself covered by a thin layer or the thin epithelial layer that is called as the ovarian stroma. When this ovarian stroma is again divided into two parts that is peripheral and inner medulla means the ovary will be having many blood vessels, follicles, well as graphene follicles, which produces or it will get to trigger to form the ovum. This is about the ovary. Please go through the structure of ovary in your as you, you can search in that you will get detailing. And coming to the accessory ducts. Here in accessory ducts, which includes oviducts, uterus, vagina, and even the cervix. So these all parts form the oviducts. Means they will give a path to, to the collection and release or the process we can say ovulation. So in accessory ducts, first we can say oviducts or you can also call them as fallopian tube. There will be a two oviducts. This one is a one oviduct and this one is one oviduct. We can call them as a fallopian tube. This fallopian tube includes three parts or the four parts that is fimbriae which are finger like projections these fimbriae they collect the ovum after the release or after the production of the ovulation so what this fimbria the finger like projection do they collect the ovum from and this infundibulum is attached to the fimbria so to the infundibulum these fimbria are attached Later, this infundibulum leads to ampulla. Ampulla is a wider part of the fallopian tube or ovidum. And this leads to the isthmus. Where isthmus, this links the uterus. Where isthmus links the fallopian tube part to the uterus. This is how the fallopian tube is formed. And coming to the next, that is uterus. This is the uterus. Uterus is also called as the womb where baby is formed as we said mother womb. Here this uterus in uh, inverted pure. The size will be in like it looks like an inverted pure. This uterus has three layers. They are the outer layer which will be thin that is perimetrium which will be thin and protective in nature. And the second layer or the middle layer is that <coughs> Myometrium. Myometrium in the sense this layer will be very thick and consist of smooth muscles in it. And the inner layer which is attached to the uterine that is called as the endometrium, which will be having it is also called as the glandular layer. The function of this endometrium is it undergoes subtle changes during the menstrual cycle. While in case of myometrium, they do undergo contraction during the parturition process. So this is about the fallopian tube and uterus. So now we have finished the pair of ovaries, pair of ovaries and accessory ducts. And moving to the external genitalia. As we have studied some external genitalia in the male reproductive system. So in your in female reproductive system also, we study external genitalia. What this external genitalia consists of? Before that, there is a duct called cervix which will be narrow opening where it leads the, or it opens the uterus 
into the vagina and this cervical canal is the cavity of the cervix which acts as the birth canal so that the baby comes out through the vagina so cervix is the narrow opening which or, or which helps in the opening of that uterus into the vagina where cervical canal is the cavity of cervix which acts or which gives the birth canal and also the opening of the vagina where well, this vagina is the external genital where you can see that monos pubis what is this monos pubis here it consists of fatty tissues okay they are associated with the pubic hair majora and labia minora so these are the fatty tissues which are associated with the pubic hair so above these there will be a presence of clitoris means above these or the above the urethral opening there will be a smooth tissue which is very sensitive that is called as the clitoris and coming coming to hymen hymen is nothing but it is the membrane which covers or it is the membrane opening of the vagina which covers the vagina so this is called as the hymen so this is the small or the brief information about the female reproductive system if you want to study it thoroughly please go and search on the internet you will get huge amount of information and in the female reproductive system we also consider mammary glands because they help in the process of fertilization parturition and even the care of the baby so let's in the next video let me come up with the mammary gland how it is framed and its structure